All right, well, we've removed the head bolts, and uh, as you can see, we've already got the other head off on this side. You can see the pistons and the cylinders, uh, a little bit of oil. Actually, the, the, the cylinders don't feel all that bad. They got a little bit of ridge on them, but uh, it's not bad. But I'm about to pull this head off on this side, so... Uh, <coughs> And if you're, it's a pretty heavy deal, and it's water and oil, very nasty. Um, let me turn it a little bit so we can see it better. You must have a decent engine stand to do this. That way you can rotate and all what you need to do to get everything out. It's still got some water in the water jacket. Um, the pistons look pretty good. Uh, got some carbon build up on them, but it doesn't look all that bad. But you can see here, this is all water jacket. If I had uh, if I had put this engine back together, um, chances are it probably wouldn't have uh, run for very long. Um, it 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 needs to be rebuilt. Um, I'm glad that I went this far with it and uh, started looking into it. Um, I'm not sure what kind of pistons these are. These may be the forged TRWs. If they are, they're really good pistons. So once we turn it over, we're going to drop the oil pan. We'll look at the rotating assembly. And uh, we'll move on. So uh, next step, turn it over, pull the oil pan, check out the crankshaft. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to flip it back straight and I'm going to pull the lifters out. Uh, that way I don't uh, lose anything, lose track of anything. Uh, in the rebuild kit, it will come with new lifters, new push rods, new, uh, new, new pistons if we need them. I'm not real sure if we're going to need them, but we'll, we'll have it all cleaned. And connecting rods, of course, uh, if we get new pistons. We'll have new connecting rods, uh, main bearings, connecting rod bearings, uh, mm, maybe a new camshaft. We'll see. No fight, no, just yet. But uh, anyway, thank you.